गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक्स वन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टर्बुलेंट फ्लो ओके सो इन लैमिनार फ्लो द फ्लूड पार्टिकल्स मूव अलॉन्ग स्ट्रेट पैरल पाथ इन लेयर और लैमिना सच दैट द पाथ ऑफ इंडिविजुअल फ्लूड पार्टिकल्स डू नो क्रॉस दोज ऑफ नेबर बोइंग पार्टिकल्स लैमिनार फ्लो इज पॉसिबल ओनली एट लो वेलॉसिटीज एंड वेन द फ्लूड इज हाईली विस्कस बट वेन द वेलॉसिटी इज इंक्रीज और द फ्लूड इज लेस विस्कस द फ्लूड पार्टिकल्स डू नॉट मूव इन स्ट्रेट पाथ द फ्लूड पार्टिकल्स मूव इन रैंडम मैनर रिजल्टिंग इन जनरल मिक्सिंग ऑफ द पार्टिकल्स दिस टाइप ऑफ फ्लो इज कॉल्ड एज टर्बुलेंट फ्लो ओके सो in the laminar flow the fluid particles moves along the straight parallel path in layer and in turbulent flow the moves in random manner resulting in general mixing of the particles okay so in laminar flow changes to turbulent flow when the velocity is increase second diameter of pipe is increase velocity of fluid is decreases okay so reynolds was the first to demonstrate that the transition from laminar to turbulent depends not only on the main velocity but not on the quantity that is rho v d divided by mu this quantity rho v d divided by mu is a dimensionless quantity and is called as reynolds number that is r e so in case of circular pipe if reynolds number is less than 2000 the flow is said to be laminar and if the reynolds number is greater than 4000 then the flow is said to be turbulent and if reynolds number lies between 2000 to 4000 the flow changes from laminar to turbulent that is laminar when reynolds number is less than 2000 turbulent when reynolds number is greater than 4000 and transit when 2000 and reynolds number is in between 2000 and 4000 okay so reynolds experiment the type of flow is determined from the reynolds number that is rho v d upon mu this was demonstrated by o reynolds in 9, 1883 his apparatus is shown in the figure okay the apparatus consists of a tank container water at constant head a small tank containing some dye and a glass tube having a bell mounted entrance at one end and a rectangular value at other end this is the o reynolds apparatus and this apparatus consists of these three things okay the following observations were made by reynolds you can see in the figure laminar flow then transition flow and turbulent flow in a when the velocity of flow was low the dye filament in glass tube was in form of straight line you can see in the dye filament okay it is a straight line for laminar flow in second case that is in b with the increase of velocity of flow the dye filament was no longer a straight line it becomes a wavy one okay some waves has been shown in the wavy filament okay in c case with further increase of velocity of flow the wave dye filament broke up and finally diffused in water you can see in the image in case of laminar flow the loss of pressure head was found to be proportional to the velocity but in case of turbulent flow reynolds observed that the loss of head is approximately proportional to the square of velocity more exactly the loss of head hf is directly proportional to the v raised to n where n varies from 1.75 to 2.0 frictional loss in pipe flow when a liquid is flowing through a pipe the velocity of the liquid layer 
adjacent to the pipe wall is zero the velocity of liquid is goes to increasing from the wall and thus velocity gradient and hence shear stress are produced in the whole liquid due to viscosity this viscous action causes loss of energy which is usually known as frictional loss on the basis of his experiments william proud gave the law of fluid fraction for turbulent flow the fractional resistance for the turbulent flow is proportional to phi where n varies from 1.5 to 2.0 proportional to the density of fluid proportional to the area of surface in contact independent of pressure and dependent on the nature of the surface in contact okay then expression for loss of head due to friction in pipe consider a uniform horizontal pipe having steady flow as shown in figure so let 1-1 and 2-2 are the two sections of pipe let p1 is equal to pressure and density at section 11 v1 is equal to velocity of flow at section 11 length l of pipe between section 1 and 112 One one two two. D is the diameter of pipe. F dash is the frictional resistance per unit weighted area per unit velocity. H F is equal to loss of head due to friction, and P two and V two are the value of pressure, intensity, and velocity at section two two. So applying Bernoulli's equation between section one and two two, total heat at one dash one equal to total heat. Two two plus loss of head due to friction between one one and two two. So we can get the formula P one upon rho g plus V two square upon V square upon two g plus z one is equal to P two upon rho g plus V two square upon two g plus z two plus h f h f is the head loss. So z one is equal to z two as pipe is horizontal. And V one is equal to V two as diameter of pipe is the same at section one one two one two two two. So we get P one upon rho g equal to P two upon rho g plus H F, where H F is the head loss due to friction, and hence intensity of pressure will be reduced in the direction of flow by frictional resistance. Okay. Now frictional resistance is equal to frictional per unit weighted area. Per unit velocity into weighted area into velocity square. That is, F one is equal to F dash into pi d l into v square. So, F dash into p into l into v square because pi d is the p. The force acting on the fluid between section one dash one and two dash two are. Pressure force at section one one equal to p into y. Pressure of at section two two equal to p two into y. Frictional force F one as shown in figure, and resolving all forces in horizontal directions, we have p one y minus p two y minus F one is equal to g. So we get p one minus p two y equal to F one is equal to F dash into p into y into v square. So we can get P one minus P two is equal to Y up dash P into Y into V square upon Y. But from equation one, P one minus P two is equal to rho G H F. So equating the value of P one minus P two, we get rho G H F equal to Y up dash into P into Y into V square upon A. H F equal to Y up dash upon rho G into P divided by A into Y into V square. In equation three. P upon y is that is equal to weighted perimeter divided by area is equal to pi d divided by pi by four d square equal to four into four divided by d. So putting that value in the equation, we get h f is equal to y up dash upon rho g into four upon d into y into v square equal to y up dash upon rho g into four y v square upon d. So putting y up dash upon rho equal to y up upon 2 where f is the coefficient known as coefficient of friction so equation 4 becomes as hf is equal to 4 into f divided by 2g into lv square upon t equal to 
फोर एफ इंटू एल इंटू फी स्क्वेर अपॉन डी इंटू टू जी इक्वेशन फोर इज नोन एज द डरसीज वेज बैक इक्वेशन फॉर द हेड लॉस दैट इज एच एफ इज इक्वल टू फोर इंटू एफ डिवाइडेड बाय टॉइ जी इंटू एल वी स्क्वेर अपॉन डी विच इज इक्वल टू फोर एफ इंटू एल इंटू वी स्क्वेर अपॉन डी इंटू टॉइ जी दिस इक्वेशन कॉमनली यूज फॉर फाइंडिंग लॉस ऑफ हेड ड्यू टू फ्रिक्शन इन पाइप्स समटाइम्स इक्वेशन रिटर्न एज एच एफ इज इक्वल टू एफ इंटू एल इंटू वी स्क्वेर अपॉन डी इंटू टॉइ जी देन एफ इज नोन एज फ्रिक्शन फैक्टर द नेक्स्ट एक्सप्रेशन फॉर कोइफिशंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ शेयर स्ट्रेस द इक्वेशन गिवज फोर्सेस एक्टिंग बिटवीन इन सेक्शन वन वन टू 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 इन हॉर्जेंटल डायरेक्शन एज फोर्सेज ड्यू टू शेयर स्ट्रेस पी वन ए माइनस पी टू ए माइनस एफ वन इज इक्वल टू जी बट पी वन माइनस पी टू ए इक्वल टू एफ वन इज दैट इज शेयर स्ट्रेस सरफेस एरिया कैंसलिंग पाई डी फ्रॉम बोथ साइड्स वी हैव पी वन माइनस पी टू इंटू पाई बाय फोर इंटू डी स्क्वेयर इक्वल टू टी इंटू पाई डी इंटू एल सो वी गेट पी वन माइनस पी टू इक्वल इंटू डी बाय फोर इक्वल टू पाई इंटू एल equation can be written as p1 minus p2 equal to 4 tau into l by d hf is equal to p1 minus p2 divided by rho g equal to 4 f l v square upon d into twi g so we get p1 minus p2 is equal to 4 f l v square upon d into 2 g into rho g equating the value of p1 minus p2 in the equation we get 4 tau Into L upon D equal to four into F into L into V square upon two into two G into rho G. So by solving it, we get F is equal to two tau into rho V square. Okay. Then shear stress in turbulent flow. The shear stress in viscous flow is given by Newton's law of viscosity as tau V is equal to mu into du by dy. Similar to the expression for viscous shear, J. Bosinus expressed the turbulent shear in mathematical form as tau one is equal to n into du by dash by dy, where tau t is equal to shear stress due to turbulence and n is equal to eddy's viscosity. U dash equal to average velocity at distance y from boundary. The ratio of eddy viscosity and mass density is known as kinematic eddy viscosity, and it is denoted by epsilon. Okay, so E is equal to n upon p. If the shear stress due to viscous flow is also considered, then the total shear stress become tau is equal to tau p plus tau t equal to mu into du by dy plus n into du dash by dy the value of n is equal to 0 for laminar flow so reynolds expression for turbulent shear stress as we already discussed the reynolds in 1986 developed an expression for turbulent shear stress between two layer of fluid at a small distance apart which is given as tau is equal to rho u dash v dash where u and v fluctuating component of a velocity in the direction of x and y due to turbulence as u and uv are varying and hence tau will be also vary hence to find the shear stress the time average on both sides of equation when it is taken equation becomes as tau dash equal to rho v rho U dash V dash. Okay, so in this lecture, next point is Prandtl mixing length theory. Okay, so in the Prandtl mixing length theory for turbulent shear stress, in equation the turbulent shear stress can be only calculated if the value of U dash V dash to overcome this difficulty. Yell Pendrel in 1925 presented a mixing length hypothesis, which can be used to express the turbulent shear stress in terms of measurable quantities. According to Pendrel, 
the mixing length L is that distance between two layers in the transmission direction such that the lamp of fluid particle from one layer could reach the another layer and the particles are mixed to other layer in such a way that the momentum of the particle in the dimension of x is same. He also assumed that the velocity fluctuation in the x direction u dash is related to the momentum and length l as u dash is equal to l t u by dy. Okay. And v the fluctuation of velocity in y direction is one of the same order magnitude and hence v dash is equal to l into d u by d y. Now u dash into v dash bar becomes as u dash v dash bar. So is equal to l into d u by d y into l into d u by d y equal to l square upon d u by d y square. Substituting the value of u dash into v dash bar in equation, we get the expression for shear stress for turbulent flow due to pandering as tau dash tau bar equal to rho l square into du by dy bracket square. Thus, the total shear stress at any point turbulent flow is the same for the shear stress in turbulent flow due to pandering as tau dash equal to mu into du by dy plus rho l square into du by dy bracket square. But the viscous shear stress is negligible except near the boundary. Equations is used in most of turbulent fluid flow problem for determining shear stress in turbulent flow. Okay. Then Nicordis experiment. Okay, in this hydrodynamic hydrodynamically smooth and rough pipe boundaries has been shown. In figure you can see the laminar sublayer and turbulent layer roughness projections has been shown. So hydrodynamically hydrodynamically smooth pipe the height of roughness of pipe is less than thickness of laminar sublayer of flowing fluid that is k is less than delta dash. Then hydronamically rough pipe, the height of roughness of pipe is greater than the thickness of laminar sublayer of fluid plan. That is K is greater than delta dash. You can see in the images, delta dash is less than and greater than in different situations. Okay. From Nicode's experiment, criteria for roughness, hydrodynamic hydrodynamically smooth pipe it is e upon alpha dash sigma dash less than 0.25 for rough pipe it is e upon sigma dash greater than 6 and when transition region that is region in a pipe 0.25 is less than the expression e upon delta dash less than 6 in terms of Reynolds number if the Reynolds number is less than or equal to 4, then it is smooth boundary. If the Reynolds number is greater than or equal to 100, it is rough boundary. And if, Reynolds, if 4 is less than Reynolds number, less than 100, then boundary is in a transition stage. Okay. The universal law of the world. Tau dash tau 0 is equal to rho into k square upon k square into y square in bracket dv by dy bracket square then v small v is equal to v upon k log e y upon r plus c v is equal to v max plus 2.5 v into log e in bracket y upon r so v max minus v divided by v is equal to 2.5 v log e to the in bracket r upon why? This is the universal law of the world. Then velocity distribution for the turbulent flow. Velocity distribution in a hydrodynamically smooth pipe, it is V upon V dash equal to 4.75 plus 2.5 log E in bracket R upon E. And for rough pipes, it is V upon V dash 
equal to 8.5 plus 2.5 log e in bracket y upon e. Then velocity distribution for turbulent flow in terms of average velocity v. For smooth pipe it is v upon v v dash equal to 1.75 plus 2.5 log e v into r divided by v and for rough pipes v upon v star equal to 4.75 plus 2.5 log e in bracket r upon e. Okay. Then resistance to flow of fluid in smooth and rough pipes. The frictional head loss HF is equal to 4 FL V square upon twice GD where F is equal to frictional coefficient or friction factor. Pressure loss in pipe is given by delta P is equal to rho V square upon 2 into phi in bracket Reynolds number E, E upon D and L upon D. Okay. For experimental result, the pressure loss is the friction of L upon D to the first power. So delta P is equal to rho V square upon 2 into well L upon D into phi in bracket R into E upon T where F is equal to phi in bracket R into E upon D. Okay. But delta P into D divided by rho L V square upon 2 equal to F that is friction factor. So F is equal to phi in bracket R E into E upon T. From equation the friction factor F is a function of Reynolds number and ratio of E upon D. For laminar flow we know the F is fiction, function of only Reynolds number and it is independent of the relation E upon D ratio. So, F is equal to 16 upon Reynolds number. For turbulent flow, F is a function of Reynolds number and type of pipe. So, F is also dependent on boundary, smooth pipe and rough pipe. For smooth pipe, F is only a function of Reynolds number. For 4000 less than Reynolds number or less than 10 raised to 5 laminar sublayer the Blasius equation of F as F is equal to 0 0.079 divided by Reynolds number raised to 1 by 4. When 4000 is less than Reynolds number less than 10 raised to 5, laminar sublayer in smooth pipe. From Nicordes experimental result for smooth pipe, it is 1 upon square root 4 F equal to 2.0 log re into underscore root 4 f to the base 10 minus 0.8 and for rough 5 sigma dash is less than e the f is only function of ratio e upon d and it is independent of Reynolds number from Nicodes experimental result for rough 5 it is 1 upon underscore root 4 f equal to 2 log to the base 10 in bracket r upon e plus 1.74 okay so thank you very much in this lecture we studied about the laminar flow and turbulent flow then nicodis flow and pandrelis equation okay so thank you very much